And thank you so much for clicking on this video. This video is a little past due because my four month lock update was supposed to be on the 14th of August, but I'm still going to do it regardless. So, as you guys can see, my hair is in its natural state of mind. I just did a good wash, so I'm just letting myself be free. By this video, I'm going to show you guys an easy way to retwist yellow star locks with a nice simple styling at the end. But before we get into that, I just want to give some tips on embracing your star locks and embracing when you get to what they call the ugly stage. I really don't believe it's an ugly stage, but I guess the ugly stage is when your hair is being disobedient or when your locks is being disobedient to you it's not really working with you your locks are short um, the type of styles you want to do it's not giving so that's what they call the ugly stage where you just not really feeling like you're more in like why did I do this you know but I want to give you guys some tips or some so really some tips to embrace that so you can really overcome that and stay true to the process because when you hit that one year mark i promise you you're just gonna be like yeah i'm so happy i stay true i stayed through and trusted the process so i decided to let my hair out because i this is what they would call the ugly stage okay um it's short it's just being it's just doing whatever it wants to do it's just growing okay um it's nothing wrong with that that is the point of locks locks is for you to be free locks i feel like locks is for you to yes you want it to be neat but you don't have to have it neat all the time you know what i'm saying some things what i have been doing to embrace my starter locks or embrace me staying true to my process is taking care of your skin I feel like skin plays a major role when in Star Locks because honestly, your hair is going to be disobedient to you, right? So once you take care of your skin, your body, your face, um, it just helps a lot with your appearance. Honestly, I sometimes I go outside with I would put like just my hair like this and go, <laughs> but. Um, I've really been taking care of my skin because I'm at the stage where my hair is just doing whatever it wants. So I feel more comfortable wearing it out when I know my skin is glowing. So I stay true. I do my morning routines every day. I do my night routines every day. I do not play when it comes to my skin now because, like I said, my locks are doing its own thing. And my skin is just something... That, and I'm, I'm noticing too when I like you sleep on my pillows with my locks out, I will have like breakouts on my face. So that's another thing I'm noticing too. Like it locks, it gets dirty. So you need to take proper precautions to avoid sleeping on your pillow with your locks and stuff like that. So you do not get acne or little mini breakouts. You don't want any of that when you are growing locks you really do not because like i said in the starter stage your hair is going to do whatever it's worth so make sure you take care of your skin guys um that also helps you embrace your starter locks because your skin is glowing um your face is glowing you just looks happy everything is just vibrant so regardless once everything looks vibrant who cares because the skin is vibrant okay <laughs> um another tip i would say is just stay true to the process because regardless, you're not going to be in this stage forever. It's like when you're a baby. You're not a baby forever. So your hair, your locks is not going to be in an ugly stage forever. You know what I'm saying? It's going to grow past that. It's just a time. We have, everybody goes through the same process. So just chase, stay true. You know, you started your locks for a reason. And um, just stay true to it. Like within that one year, when you meet your one year mark or that goal of what you want your, your locks to be you're gonna be so happy that you trusted the process just trust the process because you're not gonna be in that one stage forever and the last tip because i just want to give three the last tip is inspiration um i go on and i follow a lot of women that are in the same process as me and they love journey and 
I see how they're doing their life journey and majority is just happiness. You just have to find happiness within your life journey, honestly. I feel like it's a journey for a reason. Don't try to rush, rush it. It's a journey. You have to go through it. So I feel like in your life journey is when you start to be true with yourself. You start to fill yourself out more. I don't know. I think it becomes like a more of a spiritual thing. But like I follow a lot of inspos and um, sometimes their lives be shorter than their minds. I found this one girl, her lives is shorter than mine, but she looks she looks so happy on her pictures and she's killing like her skin is glowing. Her, her appearance is top tier. When she does her makeup, her makeup is very minimal and it's just like it's just breathtaking. So you can tell through her pictures, regardless of her star loss or her ugly stage, that she's embracing her appearance with locks. You know what I'm saying? So it's really it really just comes down to embracing your locks at the end of the day. So further no further ado, I'm gonna keep on chit chatting. Just trust the process, guys. I promise you, when you hit that mark, you're gonna be so happy that you stay true to the journey. But let's get into this retwist and this little styling. I'm gonna do it at the end. So the products, I, I'm not gonna retwist my hair right here. I have to go in the bathroom because that's where my mirror is. But I usually use my mirror in a the bathroom. Then I have a standing mirror that I use to see the back of my head. But the products that I will be using in this video to achieve the look and to retwist my hair. To retwist my hair, I am going in with my Castor and Amino Mila Nourishing Prime. And um, I really do like this how it looks. It's like a petroleum. It's have it has a good nourishing to my hair too. So I, I until I find another product, I'll be using this. I really do like it. Until I find something else or try another product. But for right now, it does what it has to do. You need your clips, of course. I have really short ones. These are the ones that I'll be using. Sorry. <laughs> you need a rat tail comb. Make sure your comb is completely clean, guys, for part and purposes. And lastly, when I am done with everything, I'm going to use my melanin multi-purpose oil blend. I love this oil. It's like so lightweight and it just refreshes my scalp. So further ado. This is how your girl looks is doing. Look at all this new growth. And that's another thing too. Like, um, you want to leave your locks. Don't be the type of person that's twisting your locks every other day, every week. You want that new growth to new growth. Because when you retwist it, you won't see like you won't see the stretch. And I feel like when I finish retwisting, I'm so happy to see the stretch, you know look at all this new growth look at this this is what the rock is so when i'm new oh my god it is dropping i'm so excited all right guys let's do this retwist okay guys let's get into this retwist so this is how my hair is looking coming out the shower it got a little bit of dried up so i'm gonna go in with my water bottle and just spray some water on my hair to just give it some moisture when you go into retwist your locks it's really about parting um that's all it is the key is just following the partings that your loctician or whoever started for you when they first locked your hair. So I'm going to take my rat tail comb and just part my hair going straight across trying to make my <laughs> make my part as clean and clean and tidy as possible. That's why I have to use two mirrors and I have these back mirrors so I can see what I'm doing. And my hair is in squares, so I just part going down, and you just want to twist in the direction that your lock is going. This is very, very important because everybody locks twist in different directions. It may be twist to the right or twist to the left, so I can't really tell you which way to twist your lock, but you know which way your lock is twisting. And um, a way to know is even if you twist it the opposite way, the wrong way, it will unravel. So after you twist in the direction that you know you're supposed to twist it, you just want to take your clip and just clip it. And that's really 
it is very very simple i mean you just have to keep doing it and going at it and like i said practice practice you'll just get better and better you're just gonna know your locks more you're just gonna it's gonna just come easy to you so the same thing just hold you twist in the direction that your lock is going and you just want to palm roll it put the clip and that's really it yeah, I find why I gave you what you need me. I know what you like. I feel it for me. Time is up to guess that. I try to need you. But I need some less time. I need to get. This lock gel is another alternative if you do not have the other one I mentioned. I had this also in my home so I just wanted to show you guys so you have another alternative. And I'm just fast forwarding because yeah, it's the same process. I'm not doing nothing different. Just part straight across and part going down or in triangles however the parting of your locks is. Twist in the direction that your locks is going. Palm roll it. So you get that nice sleek look and just pin and clip it down and that's it i hope i know you guys definitely is going to get it because it's just straight to the point and the more you do it it's just like okay once you do two to three locks you're like all right i get the drift of it you're like you like all right this this is what i gotta do it's just standing there and just locking it i think that's <laughs> i think that's what the problem is because my hand started hurt after a while but you know, this is a way to save some coins, y'all. This is my second time retwisting my locks by myself. So, I know if I can do it, you definitely can do it. It's just trying. You just have to try. And like I said, practice, practice. You just get better and better. It's just, it's, it's really simple. I trust me guys it's very very simple it's not hard it's not like tedious like listen to some music chill relax and you know just twist <laughs> Hey y'all, so I hope you guys are kind of like getting the drift of how I am twisting my locks. It's literally, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just parting a clean line. Um, I'm trying to make it as neat as possible. This is my second time retwisting my locks by myself. You're just going to part and then you're just going to... You know part them going down however i know some people be having like triangle locks mine's are squared so it's really easy for me to do but you're just gonna follow the parting and you're going to twist and palm roll your locks in the direction of where your locks are turning some people locks turn left some people locks turn right my locks go right so i am twisting going to the right and you're just going to do that until you get to the entire head. I'm just going to go and just finish my entire head right now. Um, so, yeah. So, just follow through with me. It's the same thing. I'm not switching up the process. I'm just going through doing the same thing each line, each line, each line until I get to the full top. But we're almost to the top. I got a little bit more to go. Um... This part is not mandatory. This is really optional. I just have a 
home dryer so i'm going to tie my hair down flat so it could be flat and i'm going to sit under the dryer for about 20 minutes you don't have to do this you can just tie it down and let it air dry this is very optional <laughs> i'm just being extra and it's just a hairstyle to me like why not <laughs> might as well put my dryer to use right Hey guys, so I'm back. I just finished, um, I did like 20 minutes under the dryer. If you don't have a dryer, like a home dryer, you can just let it air dry or use a blow dryer. But air drying is better. I just wanted to rush the process. So I'm about to just take off my net. And the net really was to just make it like, you know, flat or whatever. If you have like a do rag or scarf, you can use anything like that. So we did our fresh retwist. So I'm just gonna take the pins out. Well, I said pins, the clips out. I need to learn how to braid my locks now for my wig installs. That's another task I am learning. But you see how the retwist came out? It came out real good, I'm telling y'all. And try not to pull, like pull, if you're going, like just try to like open the clip and take it off instead of like pulling it. And there you go, look, it is so much, it is like really stretching. I love it here. It's really just going to go in. Not so much and just go through my scalp. Make sure my scalp is well, you know, moisturized. And I love this tip because it's like I'm not gonna overdo it. I'm just gonna go in. Make sure y'all oil that scalp, ladies and gents. So I wanna do like a simple, a real simple um, beginner friendly styling once you kind of like retwist your locks but you don't want to wear it just like this just to accessorize it a little bit accessorize that we're gonna do so I kind of like to take my sides like this and I'm kind of gonna like twist it together it's like three locks together and I'm just gonna push it and then I like to, usually when I go in stores now, if I see like single little clips like this, I like to buy them and I'm just gonna clip it inside of my lock. So it can be like that. And it just ups the style a little bit. Don't look too, you know, you push everything back and it's just like right there. You could leave it like that. Just add a little umph, you know? And that's really how I would retest my hair and accessorize it a little bit. How you guys like it? It is dropping so beautifully. I cannot complain. Like, look at it. I do have another video that I'll be dropping on some starter lock styles that I've been playing around with in my next video. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that if y'all want to see more ways to style or accessorize your starter locks. But this is something simple just for now because I really don't want to do no updos or anything right now because I just freshly retested. But um, yeah, I kind of I like it. Simple, straight to the point. And I would definitely go outside like this. You know, make my bang come more in my face. This one won't do whatever it wants to do. So you don't just play around, you know? Yeah! <laughs> I'm here for it. This is month four of my lock journey. It is falling so beautifully. I love it. I love my size. And I can't wait to update y'all guys on month five. 
um if you guys really enjoyed this video y'all already know what i'm gonna say make sure you like comment and subscribe and if you are starting your life journey just like i tell y'all in the beginning stay true to the process trust the process because you're not gonna be in the ugly stage forever i promise you and thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in my next video